Hi guys, I am going to demonstrate painting my, um, my primary colors. So here's my cad yellow light and here's my cad yellow medium. Over here I have my cad red light medium and my magenta. And then over here, I'm going to do my ultramarine blue and my phthalo blue. I'm actually putting kind of a lot of paint out. You probably don't need to put quite this much out. Right, I'm going to end up wasting some of it. And I would actually only do one color at a time. But since I'm doing this little demo for you, I wanted to do it pretty quickly. I have um, just printer paper. And I have my nice, soft, flat, large paintbrush. Okay, so I'm going to start with my Cad Yellow Light because that's the lighter of the two colors. And I'm just going to add a little bit of Cad Yellow Medium. For the very first thing you want to do is get your paintbrush wet before you do anything else. Always work with a wet paintbrush. And then I want my paint to be the consistency of like a cream, maybe, or like old school yogurt that's um, pretty wet, not the Greek style. Okay, so I'm just gonna lay down my paint and I'm gonna brush it in one direction. And then I'm gonna go in the other direction. So we start with our cad yellow light and then we work towards our cad yellow me adding cad yellow medium and this is a pretty good version of neutral maybe neutral is not the right word a perfectly bright um, yellow that doesn't look orangish or um, greenish right and it's a combination of the two so yellow is a great color in terms of paint because it's transparent and it shows up on our um, paper really in a bright way now I'm going to move to my blue so this is ultramarine blue. Now blues are really no, really dark. And notice I started with another pail of clean water. I'm not using the same brush. Okay, and I'm gonna start with my ultramarine blue and I'm gonna add just some phthalo. And I want my paintbrush and my paint to be very wet. Okay, because remember the paint is gonna dry darker. Okay, so here's a pretty nice blue that's right in between the two but look at how wet it is. So when this dries, it's gonna dry like a watercolor, right? So I'm gonna let this sit for a minute. Maybe I'll do one more um, with a little more ultramarine and a little less phthalo. Oh, look at how thick that is. That's gonna dry too dark. So I'm doing a pretty thin coat. I'm going one direction, and then I wanna go the other direction to kind of flatten it out. Okay, you can blend it out. And look at how I'm using my shoulder, not just my fingers, right? Or I'm using my shoulder, okay, to thin it out. It's not gonna be perfect along the edges, but I should be able to get a nice area that's nice and flat. Okay, now I'm gonna do my red. Now the reds are the most different. I'm gonna start with a clean paintbrush. So I have a lot of paintbrushes. Hello, this is my studio. Um, Let's see, I'm going to start with a clean paintbrush and clean water, okay? Dip, always dip my paintbrush in the water first. And I'm going to start with my Cad Red, and I'm just going to add a little bit of magenta to it. The Cad Red is closer to a true primary red. It's a little bit on the red-orange side, but it's closer to a true primary red than the um, magenta. Okay, so I'm going to go one direction. and then the other direction and kind of smooth it out. And I don't want it to be too thick or it's gonna to dry too dark. So see, this is mostly Cad Red with just a little bit of magenta. Um, I'm gonna blow dry these and then I'm gonna do another coat. So you could stop that. 